Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and this is the first official video in my new office slash ASMR facial Friday studio. And of course, still has noise problems. This is very exciting. If you follow me on Instagram, I recently shared that for the first time in seven years, I am separating work life. I've always worked from home. It's something I really love, but with a new baby at home and after seven years of not having any separation between work life balance, work and life, and balance, I thought it was time to try and look for a separate space and see if that would help me be more consistent and be able to just like sit down, give you proper reviews of products, tips, my opinion as a consumer and beauty lover, as well as more consistent ASMR content now that I have a space to bring people to to perform ASMR facials for Facial Fridays. I have some professional treatments that are going up this month as well as some exciting ASMR Facial Friday videos going up this month. I'm just very excited. So as a first video in my official space, I thought I would share with you some of the makeup products I've really been using day to day and really been enjoying. Some are new, some are rediscoveries from moving everything and just organizing my life a bit. So, Let's get started. So this is from Aborian and is their new CC Water Gel Tint. I really like this because it shifts to your skin tone and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of it. If you see that, it comes off clear, but as you buff this in, it starts to blend and the capsules kind of burst and morph into your perfect shade. Now I am the sh in the shade Claire, and they do I think have another shade Dore. So you do wanna kind of match somewhat to your skin range and then it will give you that perfect match. I'm also a little flushed right now because it's really hot and I just came from the gym. I did shower and everything, but I have, my skin hasn't really cooled down yet. Because this is a new space and I am sharing it, um, not this room, but like the official building. There might be some noise issues that I have to work out still. Hopefully you won't hear too much noise. At least it won't be um, me trying to work around Lillian nap time and play time because she's become very vocal, which is great. And I encourage that. It's just not so great when I'm trying to give you guys product reviews or ASMR content. What I really like about this product is that it's super lightweight. It's very cooling on my skin. It's very effortless. And as a new mom, and just kind of like how I've always been, this is just one of those products that I really, really enjoy and like. And it reminds me a lot of the Chanel this beige water fresh tint. This one is definitely more pricey and there is more of a color match. You need to get closer to your color match than this one, which morphs a bit, but the feel of it, the texture, the way it wears, very, very similar. I would say this one's even a little more cooling than the water tint from Chanel. I'm gonna go in with concealer. I've been using this for, I think, three weeks now. This is from Vera. This is my friend Alexandra's brand. She finally launched it. I believe it took her three years to officially launch this brand. I'm so proud of her. I'm so excited for her. There's clinical studies. She really put her money and her product where her knowledge and talent is and really wanted to give her audience and the world something different, something innovative, something proven. So first of all, it's a four-in-one concealer. It's got an SPF of 30. It is also got skincare benefits to it and it's a beautiful concealer. This applicator tip is awesome, very, very cooling. I am in light neutral. She did shade match me, which is awesome. And I love that it has zinc oxide. So it's a mineral SPF with coverage, with skincare benefits, this amazing cooling tip. Love that it's metal too, because it's not gonna be as um, contaminated with germs over time. You can just wipe it off and use a little alcohol swab if you really want to. Love how this feels on my eyes. And then I use my concealer brush just because I like to try and not use my fingers too much lately. I find that when I use my fingers, 
I end up tugging at my skin more. Just putting this here in the inner corners where I'm the darkest under my eyes, but I'm not going crazy. I find that this just helps lift my eyes a bit and my features instead of the shadows dragging it down. So what's really cool about this concealer is that it doesn't feel like it needs to be set right away, but it's still ultra nourishing and hydrating and moisturizing, but it's also not slipping and sliding once you blend it in. It works beautifully on sensitive skin, dry skin. I have very delicate under eye areas. I get milia very easily because it gets congested there. And this just works really, really well with my skin. Absolutely love it. Um, I am so proud of Alexandra and this is just awesome. So if it's still available, definitely check it out. I will link all the products in the description box for you if you are interested. Next up for my brows, I've been using the combination from Kosas. This is the Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. And then this is the Air Brow. Love this stuff. This has actually replaced my Glossier Boy Brow, which has been for years my ride and die boy brow, brow brown gel setter thingy. So this is in brown black. The pencil is in brown black as well. What I really like about this pencil is that it's very angular, but also still very defining. So it's like um, you're able to get a nice angle. You're able to get a nice precise line, but you're also able to get like a fill-in product with this shape. If you guys remember the original Hourglass Arch brow pencils, they had this angle. However, it was much thicker and honestly, I felt like I was always struggling trying to get the precise strokes that I needed right here at the head of my brow. But then as the filling in, like this part, the tail and the mid section of my brow, I felt like, oh, that was awesome for that Hourglass product, but you needed almost like two brows to get that perfect definition that you might be looking for. Um, and I like that natural look. So what I like about this Kosas one is that it is giving me the best of both worlds, if I'm making any sense. It's been a while since I sat down and just like explained to you why I like products. So I feel like I might not be making any sense. I'm also like very self-conscious that people might be able to hear me while I'm filming, but I have to get over it. I love Airbrow. So this is in black brown. What I love about this too is that it uses vegetable fibers. So it's completely compostable. It dissolves in water. It's not going to add to our microplastic issues in our water if that's something you're concerned about. A lot of fibers in our products are not compostable and not so eco-friendly. So I love that Sheena from Kosas thought about that. And this gives me the perfect like set brow without being sticky because I hate that sticky crispy feel. And it also gives me a little volume and a little zhuzh. This is where I'm gonna start to just blot a little bit of powder because I am a slutty mess. And the powder I am using is my Kosas Feathery Cloud Set Powder. I have trouble kind of figuring out the shade of this powder that works best for me, but I really like this and it's in Feathery, the one I've been using. I could be using the totally wrong shade, but it's the one I'm using. I cannot get enough of this palette. This is the Danessa Myrick Beauty Waterproof Cream Palette. I use it for my entire face, but lately what I've been using it for is just like a gentle contour. You can use it on the eyes, the cheeks, the lips. It's beautiful. It doesn't go anywhere. It blends so seamlessly into the skin. And I believe Danessa Myricks is now available at Sephora. If I didn't have bangs, I'd put it like right around here, especially with that postpartum regrowth. But I have bangs. So we'll just do that. This shade right here is a beautiful mauvey blush, but I wanted to show you the blush I've been using to feel more summery, more light, and that is the Jouer Blush and Bloom Cote de Provence. And I 
love this. So I think the side I use is Fleur de Lays. Sorry, sorry. If you speak French, I'm brutalizing it. And I just use a foundation brush, which I actually learned this trick from Lisa Eldridge a while back. Flat foundation brushes do a great job at applying cream cheek products. It like mimics your fingers, but doesn't rub away the product underneath which I tend to end up doing with my fingers. So beautiful. It's like a really pretty, corally, balmy, just, it's, it's. Bronzer, I've been loving the Danessa Myricks Beauty Bronzer in medium. It's a cream bronzer. Surprise, surprise. I love me some cream. I'm just gonna use the same brush it's an it cosmetics dual ended brush this brush can if i had to travel and only bring one brush i could do my entire face with this thing should that be a video doing my makeup with one brush and just bronzing up my face i kind of do the stamping motion that i've been really enjoying and i feel like it gives me the most like blended seamless look and then i've been using this jane aradel glow time highlight stick in solstice and that's what it looks like and this is where i go in with my fingers and i just put it on my cheekbones which i have really high cheekbones they almost kind of like blend into my orbital bone and lately i haven't really been wearing any eye makeup or if i do decide to do anything on the eyes i've been loving loving these exa light show color melt charged with plant powered uv filters these are so effortless so beautiful roller rink is my favorite so i'm going to show you how i use this and exa is a toxic free clean beauty brand um, cruelty free available through credo beauty or through exa's website but i really love the exa foundation i thought it was a really beautiful innovative foundation that launched with like over 40 shades i believe in the clean beauty market which is kind of unheard of. I usually find that the clean beauty brands are a little bit limited when it comes to shades and versatility with their product, but X is really like changing the game here. Obsessed with this. So it has this like duo chromey effect with lots of sparkles. And it's so beautiful and I love them and I cannot get enough of this because it's so effortless and easy and it lasts all day on me in the hot sweaty weather that we're experiencing and I'm a sweaty mess I'm always sweaty I just feel like I'm constantly sweaty during these months product just melts so I love when a product stays put and looks good at the end of the day I don't mind if my makeup looks lived in I just want it to look good still so something else I've been really enjoying is this Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner in the shade Sienna Shimmer. Shimmery metallic lip liner, what? It gives you like an instant. So I love those Jouer lip liners. Sienna is my absolute all time favorite. Your lips put better perfection, but this is awesome. So I used to contour this part of my lip with some cream. This is what I do now. I almost overline just a little bit and I really focus right there to give me that pout and then blend. And of course I've been loving the Notorium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. This is a buildable color but it's super balmy and delicious and just it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is one of those metal applicators and then you just squeeze them out. I am very picky with my lip balms and lip glosses because I hate that sticky feel and I hate that crusty look. So, I believe this is in the shade Petal. Petal? What shade is this? Yes, Petal. Do you love it? 
I love it. What I like about these is that they're effortless, they're easy, they're hydrating, they're nourishing. The best part is Naturium is actually doing a lot when it comes to sustainability and using better options for packaging. Like this one is made with sustainable bioresin derived from sugar cane. You can actually recycle this or compost parts of this packaging. Um, definitely remove the any plastic like this cap and the metal. The metal can be recycled. The Phyto Glow Lip Balm is absolutely delicious. I love that there isn't some weird scent. There isn't some weird texture. There isn't any weird like fragrance to it or anything like that because I know that fragrance and scents when it comes to lip balms I just feel like when it comes to flavors and fragrances in lip balms, it can be really hit or really miss, and it could be a beautiful product, but the fragrance or the taste of the lip balm just ruins it. I love that not only is this texturally amazing, but the fragrance and there's no weird taste, there's no weird like pilling, it doesn't stick, it feels comfortable, you can build up the color, and it's just absolutely effortless. I use the clear one at night, and I use the colorful ones like they're all over my bags right now. I have a ton of bags I'm like the bag lady with having this whole new system of going to the gym and then coming here to work Yeah, that's like my kind of everyday go-to makeup look if I'm actually gonna put makeup on just because I haven't really had the chance to sit down and play with makeup the way I used to but I'm so excited to be able to do that soon and very soon like right now so thank you so much for being patient with me just know that I have a new facial video whether it's an ASMR facial Friday video or a professional facial treatment video every week going up I've been very consistent all of June and I will be very consistent all of July thanks to having a separate space from my home now. I'll be uploading product reviews like I used to, giving you really in-depth opinions of new makeup, new skincare that I either love or maybe didn't work out for me. I've always loved sharing with you guys, like my girlfriends, like my friends. Um, I share it with my husband. I share it with everybody in my life, like what I really have been loving and why I think it's innovative and fun and cool and different and why it's worth spending your money on or maybe not spending your money on and saving your money and using it somewhere else. I was doing it at the gym today. I was showering and getting ready and a woman asked me about the Dyson Air app and like my opinion on it and I basically did my whole YouTube video for her sharing her the pros and cons of the air wrap and hopefully she made the better decision for herself and I just miss I miss the core of what this channel was which was just sitting down and playing with products with you if you enjoy my ASMR content but don't like the YouTube platform and ads and all that stuff that happens with it and you want early access or if you just want to support the content I produce for ASMR, I do have an ASMR Patreon which is linked in the description box. I would love to have your support if it's something that you're able to do. And then if you aren't familiar, I do have a lifestyle and vlog channel called More Serene also linked in the description box. I share with you guys my daily life, my weekly life, uh, things that I'm experiencing as a new mom and other types of product reviews beyond beauty over on More Serene. And as always, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok. So I will see you guys back here in my next video. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. Bye.